We have all heard about the Asian brown cloud, that brown blanket of pollution that blocks the sun, or asthma, a condition that so many of our children are now suffering from, or the way that our eyes burn at the end of the day just from walking in the streets. Well, this is caused by our dependence on fossil fuels, and it's time to make a change. It's time to shift to zero. One very real way to get us closer to Shunya is a shift towards zero emission vehicles. Follow us to Bangalore and find out for yourself how these tiny electric cars are setting a big example for the future of mobility. The deafening noise pollution that were absolutely clean, that were going to be affordable and that people could use and make a shift in how we think of how our city should be. India's first electric car, Reva, conceived during many's college days, befits today and answers the future of mobility. Mahindra E2O is a car that makes a dramatic shift from the cars that are dependent on the depleting resource of fossil fuels to the abundantly available solar energy in order to reduce emissions. You talk of a vehicle that's fully connected online to your mobile device. You talk of a vehicle that has a full 6.2 inch touchscreen which can access your entire car information. We talk of a vehicle that's silent to use. We talk of a vehicle that uses no energy and fuel on this area. We talk of a vehicle that doesn't need maintenance on this front. So it's not just of a current car. It's actually a different concept that is giving a set of conveniences 
to customers who haven't seen today on this area. Fully automatic, easy to maneuver and park, the car runs on batteries. And unlike other electric vehicles, Mahindra E2O has an onboard charger to facilitate easy charging. Impressed? But still, the real solution lies in its salient features. Today the car doesn't need oil filters, air filters, spark plugs, radiators, changes. So all the maintenance has gone away completely from the car. So to us, the future needs to be all of this. It needs to be clean, it needs to be convenient, it needs to be connected, it needs to be clever and cost effective. A cost effective and a convenient source of commuting, the Mahindra E2O has a lot of satisfied customers. Biggest benefit, zero emission. Second biggest benefit, no uh, petrol required or no fuel required. That has been the biggest benefit. Finally, you know, you want to go out and you feel that you have gone all around Bangalore on a weekend. You don't want, you don't want to feel, you know, I'm wasting petrol, wasting my fuel. That has been the biggest feel-good factor. An eco-friendly car that comes out of an equally eco-friendly factory that is designed to reduce waste and pollution. Enabling the company to keep its philosophy of zero emissions intact. Moreover, the Platinum Certified Automobile Plant also has efficient manufacturing processes unique to E2O. The car is made in a very unique way in terms of assembly. So only 28 steps are required to assemble the whole car. Because what we do is we actually bond the body together, which is very rarely done. This is done more on the new planes and new spaceships and new racing cars. So we use a similar technology to put the vehicle together. So there is no welding and the bonding enables to be very strong and of course seals the vehicles from Indian monsoons. Ushering in the era of smart cars in the Indian auto sector and rubbing shoulders with foreign auto giants, Mahindra E2O is a concept of frugal engineering that intends to remain fueled with zero emissions. We import 85% of our oil. Why can't we make that zero? We pollute. Why can't that be zero? The E2O today is a solution. A solution in a car that's zero emitting. A solution in technology of what we call the run to sun, where using the sun's energy, you can power your car in an affordable manner, generate your energy, be pollution free, be energy sufficient. And to me, that's the way we have to go in the future. That's what we owe to our future generations, is ensuring we put our zeros here and not just reduce, but completely eliminate and use the philosophy of zero to the maximum.